Well, 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 welcome back to my channel and this is Teacher Da, Teacher Daryl Del Mundo and today we will have And today we will have our new topic which is all about the levels of organization. The levels of organization is a hierarchy that started from the smallest matter to the biggest one. So it is like a stage from that started from the small unit to the biggest unit and all started with number one, atoms. Atoms are indivisible particles and we know that this world is made up of different kinds of matter. Matter can be solid, liquid, gas, plasma, so on and so forth. And those are made up of atoms. And number two, atoms, when grouped together, is what we call molecules. Molecules are the group of atoms which is considered as the smallest unit of most chemical compounds. So uh, molecules, there is what we call macromolecules. And those macromolecules are, we have carbohydrates, proteins, fats, and nucleic acids. Those are the macromolecules that can be found in a living organism. And we have the third one. We have the organelles. When molecules are grouped together in a living organism, organelles are composed. So those organelles, when they are grouped together, number four, we can find a cell. A cell is the basic and structural and functional unit of life. So there are a lot and different kinds of cells in the body. We have cells on the skin, we have cells in our bones, we have cells in our muscles, and different body parts. And when cells are grouped together, number five, we have what we call tissues. These tissues are a group of cells and this group of cells has its own function. For example, we have nervous tissue that can be found in the brain. Okay? Then we have groups of tissues. It can compose an organ. An organ in our body, for example, we have the brain. So a group of nervous tissue performs a specific form a brain. Okay? And then... A group of organs is what we call organ system. That's number six. Organ system. We have 11 kinds or types of organ system in our body. So we have the nerve cell or the neurons in the cellular level. In the tissue level, we have nervous tissue. And in the organ level, we have the brain and we have the spinal cord. And then... The nervous system is the organ system, okay? Where we can find the spinal cord and we can find there the brain. Then, when this organ system are grouped together, we can find or it can form an organism or an individual. This is now a living thing. It can be an animal and it can be a plant. So, in our example, we have an animal or a human like you and like me. And those different kinds of organisms, when they are grouped together, and they are now called number seven, population. Population is the group of organisms of one type that live in the same area. So, meron tayo nakitang population of lions like that, and that's what we call pride. Okay? And then we have a population of fish. And that is what we call school of fishes. Then, a group of population is what we call number eight, community. Community are populations that live together in a defined area. So here, we can find different kinds of animals, like that, a variety of animals and plants that can be found in a specific area area and then when this community are grouped together number nine it can form an ecosystem okay an ecosystem is a community and surrounding uh, that can be found uh, the interaction between the plants the animals the living organism and the non-living organisms are can be found in the ecosystem and uh, 
we can find there the different biomes or the habitats of different kinds of animals. And then when this ecosystem and biomes are grouped together, we can find the biggest part where the living organisms can be found. Number 10, the biosphere. This is the part of the earth that contains all living organisms. So, it started from an atom, to molecules, to organelles, to cell, to tissue, to organ, organ system, then we have an organism, population, community, ecosystem, and biomes, and the biosphere. So that is the levels of organization in biology. So stay tuned, do not forget to subscribe to my channel, share it to your classmates, and again, see you next time in my Edusai Vlogs. See ya!